is like the best business card ever. <laughs> I do get that a lot. Corvettes everywhere. Yep. Now I see why they are the largest Corvette dealership <laughs> in the country. Is it yours? No, that's um, that, that one there with the chrome wheels, right? That looks like mine's. You bet. And it is. You bet. That is it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seagull and Speed 252. Thank you for pushing that play button. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Clarence and I would love you to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell button notification right to sign so you get notification anytime I release the video. I want to give you one quick update on my Seagull and Speed 252 tour is what I kind of like to call it. I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina at Cars and Coffee at 135 Hive Drive, Charlotte, North Carolina. I will put that address down in the description below. The event starts at 7, but I plan to be there between 8.30 and 11 o'clock that morning. I would love to see you, meet and greet you, and I'm also bringing a civil bill, of course. So I'd love to see you, shake your hand, and speak with you, and, and meet some of my followers that's out in the area. I know some of you say you were planning to be there, and you'd like to bring some merch along as well. So I definitely plan to bring some of that, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you and meeting you out there. My next stop on the Seagull and Speed 252 tour will be in, in Atlanta at Cafe and Octane, um, Ashford, Dunwoody Road, um, Dunwoody, Georgia. I will definitely plan to be there. One last update, the giveaway is still going on for the two shirts. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and that will enter you in a draw to win those prizes. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So for a lot of you that don't know, that first clip in the beginning of this video is actually my very first video ever. That clip came from my very first video ever. And if you'd like to see that video, I will leave the link down in the description below. Just don't judge me too hard on that video. Once again, that was my very first video ever. But anyways, with this video, this is the very first photo I've taken of my car when I was ready to take delivery of it. Um, they had it parked outside, cleaned up, ready for me to go. And you cannot imagine how I felt this day. I mean, I was super excited to pick up my new Corvette. And literally, I just couldn't even stop shaking. That's how excited I was. This car at that time was Amaro Blue Chrome Wheels 6.2 liter V8 Grand Sport. So let me give you a little backstory of why I actually went out of state to buy this car. Within my state, I was looking for this car. I was looking for it up and down the East Coast. And I really couldn't find the car that I was looking for. So I went to a couple of local dealerships. I test drove a Z06 and a Grand Sport in the same day. And I will say that was a bad decision because at that point in time, I really couldn't tell the difference between the two cars because of the break-in period. I had truly wanted a Z06 instead of the Grand Sport because at the time I felt like the Grand Sport was like a knockout version of a Z06. And so I told the dealership, you know, to give me an estimate or give me a price on both the Z06 and the Grand Sport. The Z06 came out to be $96,000. The Grand Sport came to be $85,000. And at that time, I felt like, you know, I knew the dealership really well. I was like, yeah, can you guys do better? I went home. They called me and said, yeah, we can knock off 500 bucks. And I was like, $500? That's a slap in the face. That's not even a car payment. And so I was a little frustrated with that. So I went to my neighbor, I talked to him about it. My current neighbor at the time had a Z06 2015 and we talked about, you know, Corvettes all day long and he told me about his other dealership, you know, that could possibly help me out. He never bought a car from there, but, you know, he gave me the information. I called his dealership up and talked to them and literally they made a deal with me over the phone with a car and I was super excited about it. I was like, you know, they sent me a, a Corvette Grand Sport that was black on black. I was like, ah, I like black on black, but I really want something different. I want, you know, blue with chrome wheels. And they found one, which they only had one at a time. And so I made, you know, all my options to go out and get this car, which was a 2LT version um, trim logo as well. When I flew out to see this car, I'm telling you, everyone, you literally, I'm just, I'm just super excited about just talking about the car right now. That's how excited I was about my Corvette. You, you literally could not imagine how my facial expression was that day. So the price of my Corvette Grand Sport on the sheet that I actually have in front of me was $76,415. 
that's still completely cheaper than a $96,000 Z06 that I was going to get back in my home state and the $85,000 Corvette Grand Sport that I was going to get in my home state as well. Never remind you, I really truly didn't want a Grand Sport. I really wanted a Z06. And at this dealership, they had, you know, Z06s, Grand Sports, and Steamrays. And so when I talked to the salesman, he said, I cannot give you a deal on a Z06, but I can give you an awesome deal on the Grand Sport. And I was like, how come? There was a really bad hurricane that actually hit our state back in 2017, and it actually hit a lot of states, um, honestly, um, anywhere, in pretty much anybody on the East Coast. And when I went to the dealership, he told me, he said, hey, anybody that was affected by this hurricane within these states, GM gave them 10 grand off of any car they wanted except a Z06, which was very interesting because I didn't know anything about it until he actually told me this. Once he told me this, I, at that point in time, I couldn't get a Z06 because there wasn't any sales going on, and I might as well have got a Grand Sport. It looks just as nice, just not the 650 horsepower. So we kept talking and talking and talking, and little did I know, they was also giving me more money off the car because they had a 3500 off special as well off any Corvette except the Z06. Now, let me remind you, this is back in 2017 when the Corvette Grand Sport C7 first came out, so they was technically trying to push these off the lot. I was still truly really pumped about the car, but for some reason, you know, we all try to haggle the price a little bit more, so I want a little bit more off. And so, with that being said, there was a, a time to pass where I might explain I had a 2014 Silverado, had a lot of issues with it that couldn't be fixed, and it kept going up the corporate, up the corporate ladder, up the corporate ladder, up the corporate ladder, so they got to the point where they just realized they couldn't fix it, so they offered me some money for that truck. And like I said before, this is how I have my connections with GM and have a little bit more information on the mid-engine than most people do. So I was able to get actually out of the truck, but on top of that, GM actually gave me a check for 3500 bucks. So the truck got paid off, and I got an extra check for 3500 bucks, and I received a little extra funds um, from paying the truck off as well. So with the ten grand that GM was giving me, the $3,500 off that the dealership was giving me, and the $3,500 that I got from GM for the check for my truck, they all brought the car down to $60,000 out the door with taxes included. So here I am, a kid that was trying to purchase his Corvette Grand Sport, less than definitely $85,000 from the dealership I went to before, but actually getting it for $76,000 and then getting it less to $60,000, I was ecstatic. I was literally bouncing off the walls in this dealership, super excited. And then, so let me tell you the reason why I kind of overpaid for this Corvette Grand Sport. After we had gotten the price down to $60,000, and I technically had the check already with me from the bank, I I overpaid by giving the dealership an extra two thousand dollars, and I wasn't thinking about it because I was super excited about the car. I was just like, "Hey, let me get my car. Let me get out of this dealership. I'm ready to sign the paperwork. I'm ready to go home. Let me drive my car." And as I'm driving down the road, you know, I'm waving everyone. Everyone's waving at me. People giving me thumbs up. You know, I'm super excited. I'm like, "Yes, I'm in this monster Corvette Grand Sport. I'm ready to just race everybody that's out here today." And I get a phone call from dealership saying, hey, buddy, I just want to let you know that you actually gave us $2,000 extra. And I was like, well, wait, what? And they was like, yeah, you kind of overpaid for your Corvette. I was like, oh, man, you know what happens now? He was like, no big deal. We'll write you the check for the $2,000. We actually have to see that because it's going to throw our accountant off, even though we charge you sixty grand for the car. So we have to see this back. So please look forward for that check in two weeks. I was even more excited because I'm like, hey, I'm about to receive two grand that I wasn't really expecting. So yes, that's how I overpaid for my Corvette Grand Sport. But overall, I am super happy about my car. Um, yes, everything has some issues, but without a doubt, I was super pleased with my car. Overall, I was super happy with the dealership as well. And you know, obviously, as you all know, on my current and future subscribers, my car has totally been changed since the last time I bought it um, in 2017. Now it's currently chrome wrap uh, with black wheels. It's no longer blue. It's no longer chrome wheels. Only because you know, I you know, I've seen too many cars that was emerald blue out there with chrome wheels, and I had to do something to make it look different. The poster that you actually saw earlier is a poster that actually came from my Corvette Grand Sport and I got it hanging up in my house, but I'm thinking about putting it in my man cave, which is inside of the garage. But for all of you, I wanted to show you this photo because I thought the Corvette looked super well with this stance. I think the wheels look great. I think the license plates look great. And I think this chrome wrap looks phenomenal right now. Here's another photo I want to share with you of how this chrome wrap looks. Um, I know a lot of people was like, oh, I love the blue. I love the chrome wheels. But you know, I love this chrome a lot better. It definitely makes the car stand out. The black wheels make it also stand out. And I'm just in love with the way my car crane looks at this moment. Um, I can't possibly say I made changes. It may stay the same. Who knows? But, you know, at this moment, I love the way this chrome wrap looks. And, you know, that's why I decided to switch from the, the Emerald Blue because i just seen too many Emerald Blue cars. Thank you, everyone, for pushing that play button and watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I would love to have you part of the community. I would love to have your support on with growing this channel and being on this journey with me. And once again, thank you for pushing that play button. See you on the Speed 252. We'll see you in the next episode.